Hello everyone and welcome to the Starseed Dragon Channel. Guess what I just got? Yep, this is an Oracle review of the newly released, just released yesterday, May 7th, 2024. The Seasons of the Witch Litha Oracle. Um, if you are like me and really enjoy the Seasons of the Witch Oracle series, um, this might be for you. I don't know. Let's find out. You know I'm going to do a deep dive on this. Um, just released yesterday. It was actually supposed to be here yesterday, but something got delayed. Um, and I got it today. So it's okay. It's only 24 hours late. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Beautiful rock pool. Let me get my spectacles on so we can read the box. So we can read the box. Litha, also known as Midsummer and the Summer Solstice, is the, okay spirit, is the celebration of abundance, light, growth, and joy. Abundance represents having enough of anything. Love, kindness, happiness, freedom, creativity, confidence, and money. This beautiful deck will unlock pathways of prosperity for you helping you access the wisdom needed to, for transformation in your life through expansion, power, and, of course, more financial wealth. Rediscover your soul's natural riches so you can awaken your ability to manifest more of your heart's desires. Includes 44 cards and a guidebook. Thank you, Rockpool. Thank you, Lorraine and Juliet. Lorraine Anderson and Juliet Diaz. Um, illustrated by Tiana Lukovic. Lukovic. I probably chopped that up really bad, but um, thank you, ladies, for continuing this series. Of course, we have this beautiful book. Same type of format, right? So I'll be reading from the book. Not everything, but we'll be reading from the book just to see how it goes. Um, I've, I've reviewed several. I think, I think the, Yule, the Yule deck is the only one I haven't reviewed because I don't have that. And I actually, I, I wasn't, I think I sold the or I gave it away, um, the Sam Hain one, um, which is a lovely deck, but it just, it didn't connect with me. I'm more of a Beltane, uh, um, Maybon kind of gal. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I'm really looking forward to this. I think this one will also be, um, <gasps> very much for me. Oh, 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 here we go with our metallic edging. Beautiful purple, purple um, backing. Oh my goodness, Grace. Oh my goodness, Grace. Look how smooth those are. Oh, oh, you guys. How awesome is this? Okay, let me see what we could do here. Um, hold, please. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> well, I get a close up. Let me I do some adjusting here. Um, I want that light is right above me. Let me just go turn that light off. We'll have to adjust our lights here. Boom, light off. Okay. So can we see it now? Okay, we can see it now. Beautiful. I'll put it um, over here. Let me see. All right, can you guys see it? Can you see it? All right, well, I guess I'll move it over here then. All right, so let's take a looky-loo at this book. Introduction, how to use the cards, of course. Same kind of format, spirit. Okay, let me just say it's the, the cards because my incense is going nuts. Don't 
doesn't usually do this. But, uh, yeah, there's all kind of incense everywhere <laughs> going on. Sorry, sorry. Okay, nice and saged. We'll sage you some more when we're done. All right. So, 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 so sorry. Okay, so here we go with the cards. Bike ride, keywords, unhurried, enjoying the moment, the long way home. And on the card, it says, it is in the stillness and presence of the journey that you will find yourself exactly where you need to be. Some summer days beg for a slower pace, those days when the sun is shining, but there's just a bit of a breeze to keep you cool. Flowers are dancing in meadows, birds are singing along, and butterfly comes to rest on your shoulder as though to remind you to stop and enjoy the little things. Then there are days when you just want, don't feel like being rushed or productive. Those days when you'd rather spend time doing what you love with who you love and when you take the long way home, not just or not because you have to, but because the world can wait. Isn't that gorgeous? Pulling this card is your sign to embrace this kind of day. It will appear when you are rushing through life without being present for it. You may recognize the symptoms of moving too fast, feeling anxious, doing a lot, but accomplishing very little, a lack of focus and getting lost in daydreams, feelings of doubt or confusion about the future or a deep desire to do nothing. These feelings aren't manifestations of laziness or a lack of motivation. They are reminders that there is more to life than work and checking off another item on your to-do list. Wow. And then they have a presence practice. I'm not going to read the presence practice, but they have a presence practice, how to stay present. It, it is, or this practice will bring you back to presence, allowing you to pull yourself in and be in the moment. So yeah, so there's practices in here. Let's see. It probably doesn't have any. Yeah, it's, it's like all the other guidebooks. Not all of them have like extra little things. Okay, so let's see. Number two, butterflies. Okay, so keywords, breakthrough, transcendence, profound change. Here in the unknown, you will find the essence of who you really are and what magic awaits. Now, again, I'm not going to um, read all of these uh, because I really, if this is something that sings to you, <laughs> I, I want you to have something to discover. You, you, if you're familiar with the tone of these decks, you'll understand the tone of writing that they use. Um, cancer. Keywords, inner self, emotional wellness, boundaries. Call yourself back from all space and time to feel, uh, sense, and reflect on the oceans of your presence within. Wow. My incense burner is just, I don't know why it's all up in my face today. Sometimes that happens. I need to pay attention to something. Okay. Oh, and this um, cancer also has a traveling self-scan practice. Beautiful. Okay. So citrus fruits. Keywords, spiritual opening, cleansing, purity. It is time to surrender to your unraveling. Allow the waking sight to expand and illuminate you. 
beautiful. Clear quartz. Keywords, clarity, light, amplification. The, the embrace of the shadows is gently lifting. Light is needed now to nourish you. And it has an ignite your light ritual um, with uh, crystals. Beautiful. Cloud scrying. Keywords. Guidance. Patiently seeking answers. Be still, for it's in the act of patience that guidance is met with clarity. Isn't that beautiful? All of the clouds making things in the skies. Ooh, cloud scrying practice. So that's an extra one on this card. Okay, next card. Country Cottage. Keywords, sustainability, self-sufficiency, independence. It is time for the seeker to look within. What haunts you can only be faced by you. I did that. Been there, done that for sure. <gasps> Daisies. Keywords, cheerfulness, pure joy, feeling better, love and care. There is a whisper of a glimpse of opportunities to fill your life with joy. Ooh, Daisy Abundance spell. Okay. Farmer's Market. Keywords, abundance of choices, farm to table, source to spirit. Remember to distinguish abundance from wholeness. Choose wisely and intentionally. Ah, a check-in with spirit prompt is included in this description. Fruit wine. Keywords, celebration, invitation, breaking the ice. This is a celebratory invitation to the possibilities gifted when you reach beyond yourself. Darn, no wine recipe. That's okay, that's okay. <laughs> we're good, we're good. Garden beds. Key words, working smarter, resourcefulness, evaluating progress. Sometimes it's difficult to see how hard you're working when you don't provide space for reflection. Ah, oh, self-reflection mirror practice. You know, um, on the Aries reading for, um, on the Divine Phoenix, he kept talking about mirror, mirror practice. This, this would be a great exercise to do. I'm just saying, if you watch my, my, my baby Phoenix over at the Divine Phoenix channel. I'll put the link to his channel in the description box below. He's wonderful. I've adopted him. Okay, garden, oh, there we go. Green witch. <laughs> um, keywords, consequences of your actions, mindfulness, interconnectedness. No one decision is insufficient. The act of intentional intentionality calls to you. Intentionality. Hanging baskets. Keywords, attraction, beauty, learning to receive. Lean into the essence of receiving for there await the things you've been telling yourself are out of reach. Wow. Heather. Keywords. Peace of mind, protection of dreams, worthy of admiration. You are worthy, my dear. Silence the noise that snips you 
of your peace. Oh, strips you of your peace. Okay, nothing extra on that one. Heat wave, keywords, seek shade, challenging circumstances, getting burned. There is something ominous being illuminated by the flames that await. Mm. Heirloom tomatoes, keywords, love, passion, lust. Enter into the depths of intimacy where the seeds of your desires will be nourished. Ooh, bloody tomato love spell. Ah, all righty then. Let's keep going. Herb crafting, keywords, gratefulness, grounding, connecting with the earth. Allow your roots to dive into the depths. Your spirit calls for grounding. Ah, there's a grounding practice in this one. Beautiful. Horse. Keywords, freedom, regality, uh, confidence, strength. Unsure of how to break out of your cage, spirit shares strength through acts of liberation. Hummingbird. Keywords, swiftness, adaptability, pivoting. The winds beneath your wings are shifting, and if you don't pay attention, you may lose flight. Hydration. Keywords, basic nourishments, foundational healing, source of the problem. There is more to the story than meets the eye. Be mindful of what hides beneath the surface. Mm. Insects, keywords, pests, obstacles, vigilance. Vigilance is necessary at this time. Heed the warnings. Lemonade, making the best of things, silver linings. Make the most of your situation by opening your mind to new possibilities. Lemon ice cube spell. The spell is perfect for anyone who wants to sweeten up a situation or experience your life in general, or experience or life in general. Nice. Lightworker, keywords, soul alignment, following passions, transmuting shadow. The transmutation of shadow is needed when seeking the light that guides you. Wow. Mermaid, keywords, allure, seduction, embracing desires. Let the allure of the mythical siren seduce your curiosity. Magic awaits. Wow. Money magic, keywords, wealth consciousness, enough to go around. It is in limiting beliefs that magic goes to die. That is true. Ooh, stuffed pepper money spell. Ooh, is this a recipe? Think about. Nope, it dispel. Oh, 
want a recipe like Just Dad Magic has. Has anybody seen that series? I love that series. Okay, mulch and manure. Keywords, <laughs> improving circumstances, ability to hold more. Hardships are coming to an end. The seeds you sowed will be blooming soon. Paper boats, keywords, sending blessings, receiving good fortune, giving and receiving. Stay afloat and don't tilt too much. A lesson awaits you. Peonies, keywords, all around good luck, protection, increased blessing. It is time to reap your rewards. Settle in for a ride with Lady Luck. Beautiful. Rewild. Keywords, liberation, salvation, being untamed. Let your soul's garden grow wild. Setting yourself free and allowing uh, mysteries to surprise you. Beautiful. Roses, keywords, divine love, lasting relationships, support. The soft petal, uh, the soft petal felt upon your flesh is ready to release her thorns. Ah, releasing Rose Bano. Beautiful. That's part of this um, description. Rot and decay, keywords, cycle of life and death, sacrifice for the greater good. It festers when left in the shadows. Bring it to life by giving it away. Yeah. Scavenger hunt, key words, hiding in plain sight, new perspectives, considering other options. What you thought was hidden is hiding in plain sight. Stargazing, my favorite pastime. Keywords, courage, reaching for the stars, what is truly possible. It takes a lot of courage to reach for the stars, to expand the self, but it is possible. Summer berries, keywords, ripening, sweetness, maturity. Be wary of picking your harvest too early and risking losing the sweetness of it all. Summer solstice. Keywords, growth, good fortune, prosperity. Like the sun, spread your ray of light and ignite the light in others. Beautiful. Sunbathing, keywords, spiritual strength, restoration. The dance of stillness is calling for you to live in its embrace. Sun magic, keywords, life, energy, vitality. Don't allow the power of your light to scare you into dimming yourself. Sun salutation. Keywords, wellness, supporting your body. Praise the temple that carries your spirit. Support is needed. Sunset dinner. Keywords, an invitation, a seat at the table, 
leveling up. An invitation awaits you. Yell to the stars that you are ready to go. I am ready affirmation comes along with this. Beautiful. I love the little hidden extras within the guidebook. Um, in, in all of these, the decks in this series, they, they do, they pepper, they pepper little things throughout the guidebook. It's really, I mean, if you have the seasons of the witch, any, any season, um, it would behoove you to really do a deep dive into the, the guidebook because it, it has spontaneous little surprises everywhere and it's, it's such a good read um it's there the guidebooks are written so so nicely and so lovingly okay sunstone keywords opportunities unexpected luck fame in the uniqueness of who you are lives a world yet to be discovered Well, what would midsummer be without sun tea, right? Sun tea, keywords, slow magic, calm living, simplicity. Slow, intentional, delicious interweaving with life holds, excuse me, holds more magic than you think. Sun tea recipe spell. This tea spell is ritualistic in how intentional the process is, and setting intentions into tea is a powerful way to work with the plant spirits of the ingredients to amplify your spell. Um, here, we are also working with the sun's energy, which will boost your spell, but most importantly, the sun will bring you into your presence. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's a nice little lovely surprise. I was hoping they would have a, a sun tea recipe, but lovely, lovely. Now I'm gonna make that. Sun wheel, keywords, movement, adventure, taking action. Make sure to catch your breath. You are in for an unexpected journey. Wand making. Keywords, creation, directing energy, manifestation. With a flick of focus, you will come to see a vision realized. Beautiful. Wildflowers, keywords, taking up space, expansion, blooming. When you allow yourself to imagine wildly, worlds of worlds are created. And I think this is the last card. So let me read the full um, description for you. There is no shortage of wildflowers to draw inspiration from. They come in every shape, color, and size, and blow in every direction, radiating expansive energy and blooming in every space they can fill. Your beauty and creativity are expansive as a wild me meadow, and you have drawn this card to signal it's time to take up more space. Open your mind and let your ideas soar. You may do nothing with, with them, but just giving yourself room to imagine what is possible is enough to nourish your soul and stimulate your awakening. This card alludes to a wonderful period of healing and blossoming, a time when all things begin to feel possible and you feel alive with vitality. You may find yourself in an especially fertile time, 
birthing fresh things into the world, a welcome sign for a new baby, engagement, or the stirrings of a different project. Wildflowers encourages you to romanticize your life, bringing a nurturing, sensual quality to otherwise boring and mundane things. Buy yourself flowers, perfume your uh, uh, perfume perfume your home, or use a whole Sunday for all day self care. Celebrate the abundance all around you and look for ways to invite more beauty into your world. Mama Earth is an excellent place to start for inspiration. Amen to that, my friends. I love this deck already. And you know I'll be using it in the next set of readings that I'm going to start doing in the next couple of days. I want to make sure to um, do a good cleansing before I um, uh, start doing the readings. And we have an about the authors in the back of the book. Seasons of the Witch. Yeah, um, I've get, I either gave away or sold the Sam Hain. I haven't done the Yule because I haven't purchased that one yet. But they have Beltane, which I have and I use quite often. Uh, Maybon, I have one, and it's autographed by Lorraine. Um, embolic. Uh, do I have Embolic? I don't have Embolic. Um, I don't know if I've reviewed that or not. Maybe I'll have to get that one, Embolic. I don't know if I've reviewed that one or not. I know I've done the Sam Hain, Beltane, Maybon. And this one is Litha, Embolic. I don't know if I've reviewed that one or not. I'll go and check it out and see if I can find it and get it. Uh, coming soon is Seasons of the Witch, Lamas Oracle. <gasps> Ooh. Don't forget to share your beautiful photos of the entire Seasons of the Witch Oracle series and be sure to tag all the creators of this deck. Oh, I'm gonna. There you go. That's beautiful. I love it. Seasons of the Witch, Litha Oracle. Oh my goodness. Love this beautiful, rich, royal purple color. So beautiful purple foil. Very beautiful. And of course, it's got the, you know, typical glossiness to it. It's just like all the other decks, um, as far as format is concerned. Same type of paper, same size. Beautiful, just beautiful. Shuffles so nicely. How gorgeous is this? I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So there we have it. That is the Seasons of the Witch um, Litha Oracle. It came out May 7th, 2024, which is yesterday um, as of this review. <laughs> so, um, yeah, go check it out. I got mine um, from uh, Amazon. And here is, take a good look. It's... Here is the ISBN number. Now again, if if this if you find this deck or any of the seasons of the witch decks um, that do that have one of those weird code QR codes on the box for a PDF, then um, it is not the original um, deck. Okay. They have an exclusive contract with Rockpool that publishes their stuff. Okay. This is an original deck. I just want to make sure that you understand this is the original deck. If you find another deck that has one of those QR codes for the um, uh, PDF of the, um, the guidebook, then that is a fake deck and you shouldn't buy it. 
That's my advice. The more informed we are um, as far as um, all of these fakery people and uh, bootleggers are concerned, and the more we report them and the less we purchase from them, um, hopefully um, the long arm of the law will get involved and hopefully um, people won't be uh, suffering the consequences of someone else's bad karma. So be sure that you get the right deck. I'll put a link to where I purchased this. I got this on Amazon. It's not going to be an affiliate link, um, but it's a, it'll be a link to where I pre-ordered it from. And again, when you're on Amazon, make sure that you check out who is selling the deck, okay? Because at the top, underneath the title, it'll say uh, sold by and it'll be blue. So if you click on it, it'll take you to their store. Um, so that way you will know that, I mean, this is Rockpool store. So <laughs> that way you'll know if it's, if it's legit or not, okay? Um, beautiful, beautiful deck. I can't wait to use it. Uh, I hope that you all have a wonderful day. And if there are any other decks that you would like for me to review, just put that down in the comment section and I'll see what I could do about um, getting said decks um, to review. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you on the next video.